Happy New Year guys, it's 2020 na and I hope you are all doing alright. And since bagong taon na, maybe you're thinking about doing something new. Well, like vlogging. Or maybe you are already vlogging using your cell phone. But since bagong taon na, you start to ask yourself, Hmm, maybe I should upgrade my gear na and start using a digital camera. So, binuksan mo yung cellphone or laptop mo, nagbrowse ka sa internet, start searching for what is the ideal vlogging camera ngayon, you're gonna spend tens if not hundreds of hours looking for the ideal vlogging camera. And chances are, you've stumbled upon this video for that very same reason. And let me tell you this, you've come into the right place. Because today, I'm gonna introduce to you one of the most popular vlogging camera in the market today in terms of price, features, and performance. So you might wanna stick around for the next 10 or so minutes to find out kung anong camera ba yung tinutukoy ko. And I promise you, it's gonna be worth your while. Guys, ito na siya. Meet Canon EOS M50. Tada! Ayan na siya. Well, at least yung packaging niya kasi ginagamit ko siya ngayon. Canon EOS M50 is an APC crop sensor mirrorless camera which has gained popularity ever since its launch last February 2018. And it has taken the budget camera industry by the storm dahil sa ilang magandang features nito. And I'll try my best to list them here in this video. Well, unang una sa lahat, of course yung presyo niya. Mabibili mo si Canon EOS M50 for a variety of price range um, from 27,000 to 32 or 33,000 pesos depende kung saan mo siya bibilhin. I bought mine for $649 from Amazon and it came in bundled with a couple of accessories that helped me start vlogging right away pagdating niya. Sa mga online shoppers, pwede mong mabili si Canon EOS M50 sa Lazada or sa Shopee and uh, makakakita ka for the price of 27,000 pesos depende kung ano yung bundle niya pwedeng uh, camera body and kit lens lang mas mura or pwedeng package na rin uh, camera body, kit lens or with tripod, with microphone and pwedeng pumalo ng 30,000 so it's up to you kung ano yung gusto mo lang bilhin regardless kung ano mang bundle ang mapili mo uh, one thing is for sure, sulit ang magiging pag-purchase mo kay Canon EOS M50 because I know many of you just like me, gusto ko um, hindi nasasahin yung pera ko. Next up, we'll talk about one of its main selling point. Yun ay ang kanyang dual pixel autofocus. Sa mundo ng digital camera, yung dual pixel autofocus si Canon is considered to be the best of the best ng maraming mga professional and even hobbyist videographers and photographers. And they even call it the alpha male or the cream of the crop ng autofocus system sa mga digital cameras. Base sa aking sariling experience using Canon EOS M50 for over a month now, um, they may be telling the truth na ito nga yung the best autofocus system in the market today. Um, uh, kung may time ka, you can search YouTube din. Uh, maraming video doon comparing the autofocus system ni Canon over the other brands. Talking about autofocusing system, uh, Canon EOS M50 has three dual pixel uh, autofocus modes. Nandiyan dyan yung um, tracking, uh, zone, and one point. And they are all good in their own rights. Uh, depende kung saan mo sila gagamitin. But for me personally, uh, mas gusto ko yung uh, tracking autofocus system niya. You can see dito sa footage na ito kung gaano kabilis at kung gaano ka-accurate yung tracking system ni Canon EOS M50. Uh, kahit lumayo ako, kahit lumapit, kahit lumabas ako sa frame, pagbalik ko, sinusundan niya pa rin yung mukha ako. And with that, Canon EOS M50 gives you the assurance na you'll never get out of focus uh, whenever you're in front of the camera. Next feature ni Canon EOS M50 na we're gonna talk about is yung kanyang fully articulating LCD touch screen. As a vlogger, you wanna make sure you're taking a good footage. Nasa screen ka ng camera, uh, nasa tamang angulo ka, sakto yung focus, yung lighting, hindi sobra, hindi rin kulang, yung mga ganong bagay. And having a monitor facing you, showing how you register on the camera, helps assure you na you're getting the footage that you desire. And that's exactly what Canon EOS M50 has to offer you. Kasi meron siyang touchscreen LCD which you can pop from the side. Na you can also tilt 180 degrees. 
which makes Canon EOS M50 a very ideal vlogging camera. And on the side note, I just love how they designed Canon EOS M50 placing the LCD screen on the side instead of placing it sa taas. Kasi yung ibang camera ganun ang design. Uh, dun din nga lang nilalagay yung microphone. Kaya ang kinalalabasan nagkakaroon ng interference between the LCD screen and the microphone. Natatakpan ng microphone yung display sa likod. So, yeah. Uh, ang ganda ng pagkakadesign nila sa Canon kasi I think everything uh, are in the right place. Water break muna. You won't believe how many takes na yung ginawa ko and ang dami ko nang tinanggal kasi nga ang dami kong errors. But moving on. Isa pa sa pinaka nagustuhan ko kay Canon EOS F50 is yung build niya. Being a mirrorless camera, it is very light and very compact. But before we move forward to that, uh, I'm just gonna share to you first what a mirrorless camera is. A mirrorless camera, as the name suggests, doesn't use a mirror or a set of mirrors to reflect and send images to a certain part called the viewfinder for processing. But instead, it takes and sends the image together with the light directly into a certain component called the imaging sensor. So no reflective mirrors equals less components equals lighter and more compact camera body. Yeah, that's what a mirrorless camera is. I have to stop speaking in English. Ah. Since mga gan, si Canon is M50, hindi ka agad maangalay kapag bitbit mo siya ng ganto while taking a footage. And dahil maliit din siya, hindi siya magiging pansinin around a lot of people when you're doing a vlog. Diba? Very ideal siya for vlogging. Next up is what I consider a bonus kasi we're gonna talk about the kit lens. When you buy the M50, uh, you can choose either the 18-55mm to but I personally suggest that you choose the 15-45mm to kit lens kasi uh, that will give you a wider angle of footage like this. Kapag binili mo si Canon EOS M50 paired with the 15-45mm to kit lens, uh, hindi mo nakakailangan yung pambumili ng iba pang lenses if you're gonna use it only for vlogging and that will save you a lot of money kasi mahal talaga yung mga lenses. As you can see, maganda naman yung kuha niya, crisp yung image, uh, sakto yung angle ng kuha, hindi masyadong zoom in, hindi rin masyadong zoom out. Though may option ka to zoom it in and to zoom it out depende kung anong footage ang gusto mong kunin. And meron pa siyang added bonus na image stabilization. And that will help you uh, keep your footages more still kapag on the go ka nag-vlog. Now, nabanggit ko na sa inyo yung mga selling points si Canon EOS M50. And for me, it's just an amazing camera. Very awesome. Pero, just to be fair sa inyo, sasabihin ko din naman yung mga downsides si Canon EOS M50. Since there is no single camera na almighty and Canon EOS M50 is not an exemption, I'm gonna list to you yung mga downsides na nakita ko sa kanya while using it. Here they are. First on our list is yung battery life. Uh, you cannot expect to shoot the entire day with Canon EOS M50 and not replace your battery. <laughs> you just can't. Kasi uh, I'll assure you na magpapalit at magpapalit ka ng battery. Pero for me, battery life is not a problem kasi I don't really shoot long footages to the point na naubos yung battery tapos nakat habang nagsishoot ako. Hindi po. Uh, bali, ang ginagawa ko is I shoot uh, short clips, then I crop them together, pinagsasama-sama ko. Uh, kaya, all in all, hindi po talaga para sa akin problema yung battery life. Ang ginawa ko ay bumila ko ng extra battery. Well, to compensate for that downside ni Canon EOS M50. Canon EOS M50 can shoot in 4K videos, pero hindi ko siya sinama sa mga selling points na kanina kasi it's actually a liability. Because when you shoot in 4K video, uh, there is a crop factor. When you shoot in 4K video, your footages will look more like it's zoomed in. Meaning, malaki yung nawawalang space dun sa gilid. Um, unlike now, uh, nagsushoot ako sa 1080p, so maganda yung kuha niya. Pero kapag 4K video, parang ganito ako kalapit. 
And isa pang downside sa 4K video, uh, maliban sa crop factor, is nawawala yung dual pixel autofocus ni Canon ES M50. Instead, nagre-revert back siya sa contrast-based autofocus, which is lesser uh, in my own opinion. Uh, medyo mabagal siya mag-focus. Uh, madalas nagbe-blur yung mukha mo, lalo na pag madilim, hirap na hirap talaga siyang mag-focus. But for me, it's not a problem kasi I don't really shoot in 4K videos kasi unang-una sa lahat, uh, malaki yung nagiging file size as in parang 5 times. And yung 1080p naman like I'm recording right now is more than enough kasi malino naman na siya for me. Itong huling bagay na isi-share ko sa inyo, I don't really consider as a downside pero I think it's worth the mention. The Canon EOS M50 uses its own native family of lenses which we call the EFM lenses and as of now, um, konti lamang yung option mo to choose from. Unlike ng counterpart niya sa DSLR, uh, the EF and the EFS lenses, marami kang mapagpipilian. But, pwede ka naman bumili ng adapter which will enable you to use the EF and EFS lenses dito sa Canon EOS M50. So ayan, nasabi ko na sa inyo yung mga pros and cons ni Canon EOS M50 and I highly suggest na i-consider nyo siya as your first vlogging camera. Because I highly doubt that there is something else in the market that can give you what the Canon EOS M50 is offering you for the same price range. I hope I help introduce to you a strong contender when it comes to your first vlogging camera and kung hindi man, sana ay may natutunan kayo dito sa video natin na to. Before I end this video, if it's not too much to ask, please show your love and support sa mga content creators dito sa YouTube just like me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Again, thank you guys. You are the best. See you again next time.